One of the most common issues or questions I get asked all the time is, you know, especially in SEO as well, what can I do to get my rankings? What can I do to get better rankings in the three pack and get in organic and get more leads? And when I look at most of your websites, you don't even have the basics done, like internal linking, H1 headers, etc. And so for me, what I'm gonna tell you to do is y'all need to just start with the basics. Learn to crawl before you start trying to run and go do, you know, CTR manipulation or even beginning to look for some hack, you know? So I think that's what we're gonna cover in today's video is just the basics, right? Bam! My name's William. If you're new to this channel, make sure to hit subscribe and turn on that bell notification. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So what we have here, we have a digital marketing company. All right. So we're just going to go through this and I'm not going to, you know, pull any shots, but I'm just going to tell you what I do and do not like about this site. I mean, you do have one of the things I like is I always, I'm very much a stickler for the sticky header. Sticky header being when I scroll, your menu bar should always follow me. All right. One of the things I don't like about this is there is no call to action. None. Damn. You know, call to action. Big, bright, red, orange, green button up there says, get an SEO audit. Get a Facebook evaluation. Get a digital marketing evaluation. Give them something. Give them a reason to want to contact you. There is no reason right now. From the moment I look at this site, what tells me that you're different than everybody else? There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing that tells me that you're any different than all the hundreds of other digital marketers out there. You've got to set yourself apart from everybody else. Until you do that, and until you show them why you care, they're not gonna wanna work with you, okay? That's step one. And if we're looking at this just from a pure SEO point of view, let's look at your headers, all right? You have an H1 header, right? But your H1 headers, digital marketing agency with expertise, SEO, SEM, MM, all this other crap. You know, website development, video production. You got a whole paragraph that is your H1, right? Your H1's down here. That's what we call below the fold. The fold is what can I see from here to here? What is in my line of vision, right? What's in my line of vision it means what is important to this website? It's way down here, dude. And it's convoluted. It's going, I am this, 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 this. You're basically saying, hey, here's all my services, Google. Let me shove it all down your throat at once. Ah! And then I don't even know where you're located, right? Are you serving a specific city? Are you serving a specific area? I need to know that information, right? Now, you have your web design service here, e-commerce, branding, etc. Do you have pages for all of that? Yeah, you do, but guess what? None of these right here are even hyperlinked or linked over to those pages which they should be. There should be some internal linking. I'm looking for any internal linking. The only internal linking so far, let's see, is the icon, all right? Not a textual link. This is a button. There's no internal textual linking going on here, all right? Textual being your keyword linked over to a page, which is what you should always do. And I don't see none of that. Now let's go up here. This is the plugin I'm using. It is called SEO Meta in one click. I can look at your headers, okay? I can look at your H2s. And then your services are your H3s, which is not cool. You, they should be your H2s, all right? Now, as far as your images, none of them have a title. None of them have an alt title. An alt title says, hey, Google, when you're looking at this image, you know, if I was to inspect this, Google, this is what I want you to see, you know? 
I want you to see this image and I want it to be this specific keyword, right? Let me pull this up so you guys can see it. Image PNG Base 64. That tells me absolutely nothing, right? Nothing. I need to be able to look at this and go, okay, this is what this guy is talking about. You know, let me close this out real quick. So these images, when you see an image, it should be, okay, if your web page right here is, let's say web design, then the images on here should all be related to web design. This should be something about web design, right? Let's open the image. The image is named web design with the alt title or what the Google bot see. Okay, when they're crawling your website, what do they see? It's just like PNG 28, you know, which is not cool. It's not gonna help you. All right, let's see what else you got. You got your websites on there, that's cool. You got your videos in here, that's cool. Let's see, you got anything about Google on here? Yeah, you got your Google partner, you got your social icons down here, but I don't see not one, let's, let's just out of curiosity see, you know, do you have a GMB listing, just out of curiosity? You do, but it's not even on the homepage. No! You don't have that on your homepage, you don't have your reviews. You got 36 great reviews, but none of them are displayed on your homepage. You don't have a testimonials page. Let's see if you got your, you know, contact us even here. No, this is a street address. This is not even your GMB. So you need to get a lot of the very basic stuff fixed. Like this is this is your address, but you're not embedding your GMB. If I click on this, this is not taking me to your GMB. To embed your GMB, you just have to go and grab it and embed it. You go to maps, go over here, type in this, hit share, hit embed map, copy the HTML and embed it onto that one website, right? So those are the basics. If we go back to your homepage and we look at, for example, your images, we've already looked at that, your internal linking, you have no title on your links that you do have. On your social media, I'm only seeing Facebook. I'm not seeing Twitter, I'm not really seeing LinkedIn. I'm not seeing Instagram. I'm not seeing anything else. Now let's go over to page speed and just look at that real quick and we're going to run that and see what it comes up with. I don't want to run GT metrics. GT metrics is old school. It is not what Google goes by. So we go here, go to tools. We go page speed. We are interested in the page speed. The Google core vitals telling me is this website fast enough? Is it easily accessible? All these different things. One of the things you always want to do, if it was me, I would redo this site. Great content, whatever, but you need to redo this site. The focus should be giving them a free SEO audit or giving them a free ebook to get them to give you their contact information. That way you can build up your opt-ins and build up your email list the easiest way to convert someone into being a buyer is by, if you will, warming up a cold lead to a, at least warm and eventually hot. They do that by getting to know you. The only way to get to know them is by producing content, Instagram reels, YouTube videos, email blasts, etc. So your page speed is absolutely terrible. If it was me, I'd redo this entire site personally, you know, and start from scratch and get a nice up-to-date 21st century website. Because this thing, honestly, 
looks old and outdated like it's from the 90s okay just i'm just putting it bluntly that's the only way i know how to talk to people you have a form which is cool but it's way down here most people only even look what's right dead in front of them most people don't even scroll you know so that's another thing so hopefully you take away some insights from this mini audit if you would like for me to give you a free audit as well Make sure to comment below and say, hey, William, can you give me a free audit? And I'll immediately contact you and tell you to send me a direct email message and I will give you a free audit. I appreciate you guys. You guys be blessed and have a great day. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitch and they cry, labeling me. SEO Black Hat was a nobody, now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners. And hated by most SEO 